What are 10 things buyers will hate about your house? When you're going to sell it, you don't want them to hate anything. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes that are in trusts and probates. Typically, someone's inherited a property. I work closely with attorneys and the courts, so that's a little bit of an unusual sale sometimes, but I can hold your hand through it. The other 25% is I work with regular buyers and sellers. I do these videos weekly. Uh, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up if you ever like a video. And if you have a topic I haven't talked about yet and you'd like some more information, just comment below and I'd be happy to do it. And I started this series on the 10 things buyers hate about your house. When you're trying to sell your house, you don't want them to hate anything. So I did one through five in a previous video. So today I'm talking about six through 10. So number six, brass light fixtures and door handles. So gold is kind of making a comeback. So I have to be a little careful here, but you know what I'm talking about? The old 70s and 80s style brass light fixtures in the kitchen, the bathrooms, the door handles are those kind of old tarnished door handles. They're details, but light fixtures and door handles don't have to cost a fortune. Update them with some chrome, stainless steel light fixtures, or again, if you're, you've kind of gone to the new trend with some gold, um, just update your, your fixture. Number seven, overgrown yards. Okay, so most people know they need to trim, trim their bushes and trees back, make sure the lawns are mowed, all of those things. But sometimes during the listing, you forget. So the house was prepared at one point, all of a sudden it doesn't show as well. You'd be surprised at how many backyards especially are kind of overgrown and unkempt. Take care of the back just like you would the front. Number eight, odors. Okay people, if you have dogs, cats, if you love to cook and use, use a lot of spices, or if you're a smoker, those odors linger and just putting a little plug in doesn't really mask that. So <clears throat> there are things you can do for your walls um, to really clean off odors because odors go into the walls, they go into the curtains, the blinds. Um, so a lot of times painting will help, but sometimes you need to do more. There's a couple extra steps you can do. Carpets, really get them steam cleaned. I've known some people to go as far as to get a black light and you can go around the carpet and see where pet urine is and really scrub those areas but we've got to get the odors out it's just such a turn off cooking ooh, that's a rough one too especially if you love to cook during the house sale try not to cook anything unusual it's also something to be aware of you shouldn't have too many plug-ins when you walk in and it's too fragrant that can give people headaches as well so it's kind of a fine line but you want to kind of neutralize the air just make it feel fresh and clean Number nine, people hate wallpaper. And I know wallpaper is also making a comeback, but the wallpaper I'm talking about, you know, it's grandma's wallpaper or from the 80s, and we gotta get that off. A lot of times it's not even that hard to do, but you kind of forget it's even there or you still like it. Let's just neutralize the wall. I talked about that in the first video, neutralize paint color. Let's get the wallpaper out. Again, if you just had wallpaper put in a year or two ago, and hopefully maybe you got the advice of a professional decorator, maybe it's fantastic. So there's the odd situation where wallpaper is okay. Number 10, popcorn ceilings. I know you don't want to go through the headache of getting it off, but buyers don't either. And these, all these things I talk about with buyers hate, they, this will affect their mindset when they're thinking about writing an offer. They'll think, well, I have to do the, the popcorn ceiling, I have to rip up carpet, to change out light fixtures, ding, 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 they're gonna give you a lower offer. So popcorn ceilings, I've got some great guys, so let's get it off, just get it done, and it'll spruce up your house. And there you have it, the last five things of what buyers hate when they're looking at your house. So give me a call if you need any advice, I have some tips on my website under seller resources with information and more information about all of this that I've been talking about. So feel free to hit my website 
and look around at my other videos. Again, I'm Annie Baker. All my contact information is below. I hope to meet you one day, and until then, have a great one.